thought to myself, if I try and fight against this part of me, disability, cerebral palsy, if I try to fight against it, all I'm doing is fighting against myself. And to do that didn't, didn't seem right. Well, I have a longtime friend, Leon Bisey, who is the flute professor at Rice University. And Catherine had been her student for four years as an undergrad. And Leon um, asked me if I would talk to Catherine and tell her about the musical opportunities in North Carolina because she was thinking of moving here. So Catherine and I emailed each other for a year and a half, actually, and we talked about performance opportunities and teaching opportunities. And eventually Catherine uh, told me about her Music of Difference project and her website. And I, I went to the website immediately and was totally impressed with it and the project. And at that point just knew I really wanted her to come to Wake Forest and, and tell the students on campus about it. Forest, I'm not sure that we're all as aware of people with disabilities as we might think we are. We, there may be people passing us by every day who have disabilities and we don't even know it. Her disability is a little more obvious because she walks with a unique rhythm and so we know she has a disability. I think it's important for people to realize that, that other people do have issues and that we need to be aware of them and um, you know, treat, treat these people with respect and also with understanding and um, to know that they are not in any negative way different but just experiencing something differently th from the way we do. She definitely doesn't just want to be at a distance from the audience. She wants to talk to them. She, she likes to talk to them first. And then she likes to perform, actually. And then um, she likes to talk to them again afterward. And that's not something we see often on the stage. Usually the performer comes onto the stage, performs, and then leaves. And that's it. So this was special in that way. I reached out to, uh, to the world of composers via email and said, my name is Catherine. I'm currently in London on this research fellowship, trying to find ways to use music to explore disability and what it means. And I've dug and dug and dug, and I can't find anything other than this one six minute piece for solo flute that really does that. There's a lot of programmatic music out there, a lot of music that, that is meant to focus on or explore a certain non-musical concept. But when it comes to disability and difference and diversity, there's not so much. So let's build a repertoire. 